To other news now, and the U.S. is considering holding international terror suspects at its Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan. If approved, the facility north of Kabul could essentially become a new Guantanamo Bay, the notorious camp in Cuba that President Obama has pledged to close. But currently, the U.S. administration is struggling with the task of relocating over 180 inmates still held at Guantanamo. But the Bagram solution is being opposed by senior officials in Washington, including the top commander of NATO troops in Afghanistan. They fear it could jeopardize stabilization efforts in the country. Jonathan Harfetz from the American Civil Liberties Union, who represents detainees, thinks the new facility will be no different from Guantanamo Bay in terms of prisoner abuse. The Obama administration, you know, so far, unfortunately, seems more focused on the, um, the sort of image and on um, the, you know, the association between, you know, of, of Guantanamo without actually ending the real problems of Guantanamo, indefinite detention, the use of second-class uh, systems of justice uh, like military commissions rather than our ordinary courts. That's the whole problem with Guantanamo is when you set up a prison outside the law, um, you, know, you enable things like torture, things like uh, severe sleep deprivation. To my understanding, those you know, conditions, that form of treatment is not being uh, practiced at Guantanamo anymore. But we still have a fundamental problem, which is that we're holding people indefinitely, without charge, without trial, going on eight, nine years now, something that is beyond the pale uh, and violates our Constitution and basic human rights standards. And the whole thing with Bagram now is that Bagram has received less attention and less scrutiny and it's to some extent kind of flown under the radar and for that reason um, in many ways some of the abuses are worse than Guantanamo and uh, you know it's sort of out of sight out of mind and the fear is that by you know simply closing Guantanamo and moving the detention operation to Afghanistan um, a lot of the problems that have taken place at Guantanamo will be repeated and they'll be harder to uh, to check. Meanwhile, Jake DeLiberto from Veterans for Rethinking Afghanistan says expanding the Bagram facility could even pose a serious threat to the U.S. I think that uh, Bagram has uh, been a place where the United States has taken uh, prisoners uh, into and held as a part of uh, the occupation in Afghanistan. A problem with that is that there's been a lot of people that have been held there uh, accidentally who perhaps didn't necessarily need to be there. What we need to see in Afghanistan is we need to see uh, the, the real criminals, the ones who are perpetrating human rights abuses and the ones who the Afghans don't like, we need to see those people in prison and brought with the rule of law open in public to the, all of the Afghan people and held within the international courts. If Bagram is expanded, two things are going to happen simultaneously. Provincial reconstruction teams that's being done by civilian contractors are going to slow or stop because they're going to get pulled in to expand the Bagram base. And then the second thing is anti-American sentiment is going to skyrocket. These two problems are a huge, huge security threat.